Which is the most important skill in League of Legends? Well, let's count them. Farming, trading, skirmishing, team fighting, diving, wave manipulation, cooldown management, rotations, you get the idea. League is a complex game, and so the amount of stuff you have to learn to even start is pretty overwhelming. There is one thing though that most people overlook. The tutorial doesn't touch on it. Most guides you see on YouTube focus on other things. Coaches rarely talk about it, and the game itself only addresses it in those loading screen tips that nobody reads. The only reason why I even realized this was an important skill is this video from a coach that I'll link in the description. There he talks about a popular law of League, and really competitive team games in general. 60% of games are either wins or losses outside of your control, and 40% depend entirely on how you play. It's known as the 30-30-40 rule. So why am I talking about this? The point of this rule is not that you can tell whether you can win or lose when you're in a match. It's your mindset that you should have when playing many games over a long period of time. Point is, I'm here to make the argument that mindset, or mental, is the single most important skill you need to learn in order to be good at League of Legends. Or any game really, but let's use League to explain it. The first thing it affects is decision making. Take two players, with mostly the same skill set, playing the same champion against the same matchup. Although we're looking at the laning phase and not macro, decisions are still being made here. When to trade, which CS to sacrifice, how to trade. The only difference is, one player has gone through three consecutive losses in the day and is actively molding. Player 2 is on their second game of the day after one win, so they're warmed up but not exhausted. The way these two players play, assuming they're not perfect machines, will be different. And you, my dear viewer, are not a perfect machine. Being mentally exhausted from previous losses, from teammates being idiots, or from a boss being a ballad, will have an impact in how you play the game, most often for the worse. Think about the most important fundamentals of the game, CSing, trading, and map awareness. Every player has different skill sets. Some are great at trading and will make up for lost CS with solo kills. Some are good at seeing opportunities on the map and get leads from roams. And others will have so much pressure and farm in lane that they are always a consistent threat. Every single one of these playstyles, and every skill they involve, will get dragged down by a bad mental state. Micro will be worse, decisions will be hasty, and macro will fly out the window if it was even there in the first place. And this is only looking at any one given game. Did you know that one of the major causes of lost streaks is still streaking? Together, we can stop this. When you lose two or three games in a row and keep queuing in the hope that for sure next game I'll get better teammates, spoiler, it won't happen. And the more you queue, the more tired you get. Sometimes your teammates won't even be that bad, but you'll still perceive them as terrible because of your previous experiences. This is part of the reason why so many coaches nowadays recommend playing fewer games in one sitting. If you take frequent breaks or only play a few games in the day, you'll give yourself time to reset your mental state and come back to the game with a cool head. When you lose a game where you did your best and still got demolished, it's natural to get pissed about it, especially if you care about the game and want to get better. So what's the next step? You queue up for another game immediately? No! You go outside, you grill a big ass steak, take a nap, and then you queue up and perform way better. Being calm and collected not only makes you better at the game at any given moment, but it also makes it easier for you to improve over time. Someone who can look at their own gameplay without bias clouding their judgement will perceive their own mistakes and have an easier time fixing them. Someone who grows stubborn over so much time playing the game will eventually get stuck and be at a loss on how to fix it because they won't have the mental clarity to see what they're doing wrong. So hopefully I could convince you that the most important skill in this game is mental fortitude, because it's the one thing that if you improve, everything else gets pushed up with it. If you lose it, everything else gets shoved down the sewer. Being able to play multiple games in one sitting without letting the frustration get to you is a learned skill, and you should work on it just as you work on farming and trading. But hey, if you disagree, which skill do you think is more important? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to see more content like this. That's all for me now. Cheers.